Russian modern air defense systems are powerless against old Western missiles. Modern Russian air defense systems are not capable of resisting old Western missiles. The Ukrainian military uses this to strike strategic targets of the aggressor country in the occupied Crimea. According to the Telegraph, Western cruise missiles like the ATA CMS and Storm Shadow pose challenges due to stealth technology, making interception difficult for Russian defense systems. According to the journalists of the publication, the Russians adopted the S-400 air defense system in 2007. These complexes are among the most modern in Russia's arsenal and cost more than a billion dollars. However, recent attacks by the Ukrainian military have shown that these air defense systems remain vulnerable to older American missiles, including the ATA CMS, which have been in service with the US Army since 1986, and the British Storm Shadow, developed in the mid-1990s. People have been exaggerating the importance of Russian air defense for years. In fact, we have seen in the past that they have not protected the Syrians in Syria, they did not protect the Iranians in Iran, and now they did not protect the Russians in Crimea, emphasizes the Director of Military Sciences of the Royal Institute of the United Armed Forces, Matthew Saville. It is noted that Western cruise missiles are more difficult to intercept than Russian ones. According to Fabian Hoffman, PhD and missile technology specialist at the University of Oslo, Western missiles use stealth technology. In particular, the British Storm Shadow flies at a low altitude and its special shape makes it difficult to be detected by radars. As the missile nears the end of its flight, it rapidly gains altitude and then dives toward the target. There's a lot more planning involved in hitting with storm shadows. The Ukrainians really plan these trajectories. They carefully lay them out to bypass Russian air defense equipment. We also see that the Russian operators don't seem to be very skilled. Now they are very methodically and systematically bypassing these S-300 and S-400 air defense systems. And they know that it is reasonable. This is exactly what they should do. And NATO would do the same, emphasizes Hoffman. Russia, meanwhile, was forced to deploy its weapons more compactly, given the 1,000 km front line with Ukraine, as well as the need to protect Kaliningrad, the Kola Peninsula, the border with Finland, and the eastern part of the country around Vladivostok. The Ukrainians are now striking in all directions. The Russians have significant stockpiles of various types of weapons, but now they have to make difficult decisions about the arrangement of priorities, emphasizes Savile. Жгут, блядь, не рыба, ни хуя, ничего нету. Выжди нахуй, в морду уебала, сука. Не рыба, ни хуя. Ебать. Тоже хотя бы птички нахуй. Птичек надо, пиздец, жгут, суки. Сегодня ночью. Сожгли, бля, бронируй. Вот. Жгут нас, бля, фитинишки проклятые. Так что нужна пани помощь. Нужна помощь. Рэпом, птички. Чем можете, короче. Опа, да, здесь. А, уважаемые подписчики нашей группы, вот еще одно доказательство, для чего нам нужен рэп на автомобиль. Ехал автомобиль без рэпа, за ним полетел FPV трон Камикадзе и врезался в него. К счастью, водители и пассажиры все остались живы. Вот еще очередная машина. Паренек, бля. Разгорела она. Я сгорел. Это сегодня ночью. Приебал вот КАМАЗ и там Тигр. Все до глаз горело, бля. Погибли люди. Погибли люди.